Can you hear the sound of in of justice against the injustice? Come on, this is the sound that I hear. What you are experiencing right now is the sound of justice. The justice of God that is coming in the earth at this time. And it's coming at an accelerated race is the Spirit of God. It is the sound of my footsteps and the hosts. For I am the Lord of hosts, the Lord of angel armies, and they are with me establish and to reestablish order once again in the earth for I've allowed evil to raise its head at this time to show you what evil gross darkness looks like but now you're going to see what the goodness of God looks like you're going to see what justice looks like because you have seen corruption at its highest level says the spirit of God but there is justice that is beginning to arise at this time and as the son of God went into the temple and he turned over the tables because of the justice and the righteousness that was the foundation not only of my throne but the foundation of the Messiah and as he walked into the temple he turned out because they were corrupt, they were lying, they were stealing, and they were creating false narratives to the people. And the Son of God, the zeal, the zeal of the Lord of hosts was stirred up. And so my zeal, says the living God, is stirred up. And now I shall roar like a lion, and I shall bring my justice. Therefore, pay attention. They have tried to corrupt the order of my covenant that I said marriage is between one man and one woman. Therefore, I shall establish justice and I will show by the very high office of your land. I will show you what it looks like as a man and a woman arises again who will join hands and from the place that is not known as a white house now shall restore a white house that shall become a lighthouse once again unto this nation says the spirit of god and there shall be the sound of prayer that will be established from the lighthouse as i restore and i show you what a husband and a wife look like together that shall govern this nation but shall govern the earth as a new reset a new world order that is not of the enemy but of my hand says god therefore pay attention even as they have counterfeited and they have said to you in america Concerning administration, I have said to you, 46 does not exist. And I am not lying, for I will pull their masquerade and their party, and I will reveal what is the truth. They say what you look at today. They say concerning a 46, this is a president. Do not make me laugh. They say, this one is the vice president, the first woman. God says, oh, are you serious? Do not make me laugh, for I will show the United States of America. You have seen counterfeit. Now there is a force that is greater than anything that the deep state and those who for this country. It is the force. It is the spirit of the living God. It is the spirit of truth. My spirit that shall reign and no man will contest me no man will stop me no man will outdo and outweigh the truth no lie will be able to shield the truth for this is what I speak is coming at this time therefore pay attention I will show you what it looks like to have a true president again and I will show you what it looks like to have a woman, a woman stand with a president, a true vice president, that it shall be in the form of a woman created by me. For they have tried 
to change gender. They have tried to redefine what your Oval Office looks like. But I'm going to show those who have tried with their pronoun redefinition. They will say, this man is a president. This woman is a vice president. And then I will show you, God says, what another thing shall look like as a man and a woman and a man shall arise at this time coming shall be the cord of three strands and it shall not be broken in the future that is coming upon this land for I am roaring and I'm turning the tables over and legislation shall change as the spirit of truth hovers over your nation, your schools, your universities, your media. You watch what I do to shake the media for they have lied now. God says some will be no more. Are you getting a glimpse of your future? Lift up your voice. Thank you, God. Be it done. Thunder and lightning. Be it done. You come in fighting. Gonna win the war. Gonna win the war. Thunder and lightning. Come in fighting. Gonna win the war. Gonna win the war. Thunder and lightning. Come in fighting. Gonna says listen when the apostle John was carried up into the heaven a door was open in heaven so this time of Rosh Hashanah is the time of an open door and it's not the open door of the portals of evil but it's the open door of my vengeance my righteousness that is coming upon the earth and I said to John, write the things that you have seen, the things that are, the things that shall be. And God says, the things that I've just shared with you, you think is just for four years coming. But I speak to you and I say, do not put your interpretation or your own timing upon what I have spoken. For I spoke to you a 12 year kingdom plan, says the living God. Why 12 years? Because you have seen the demonic plan of the demonic kingdom and how they wanted to take over the earth before to preempt war, to preempt things that is before the time of what I said shall be the final thing of the ages. Therefore you saw the counterfeit of the demonic kingdom. Now I shall restore and bring kingdom order. Twelve years and I will restore to the earth. Come on, lift your voice 
do this. I want you to put your hand on your heart. We're going to fix something just in case anything in the room needs fixed. Just in case. Maybe we need to adjust our faith. Say this as you touch yourself. Lay hands and impart to you. Say this. Say now Lord. Never again will I say when, where, how. God, I believe you. You are invading the earth. You are invading the United States. You are invading my life, my family. And I am seeing your miracles your wonders, your power like never before. This is the time. This is the hour. 
It is here now. It's moving now. And I thank you, Lord, that your glory is flooding the earth like the waters cover the sea. Now, come on, give God one last mighty show of praise. Woo! Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Well, you can turn around. We've been prophesying to each other this whole meeting. So I'm going to make you give somebody another prophecy. I want you to turn to them and say, I'm prophesying to you now. You turn to them and say, do you know this nation is being saved? Come on, turn to two or three people, love on them in the house of God. Thank mm-hmm. you.